every single day. I'm tired of those countless unsolicited emails, outreach messages. Arrgh! It's time to build an AI automation that will keep my inbox pristinely clean once and for all. And I gotta be honest, when I build this automation, it completely blew my mind. I tried to solve this problem for years now, and I kid you not, until I discovered the AI solution. First, I created some sophisticated filters inside Gmail that will find a keyword, unsubscribe, and automatically archive new emails but 15 to 20% of emails still trickled through. And that's hundreds and sometimes thousands of emails. I also tried services such as Unenroll Me to automatically unsubscribe from all newsletters. And guess what? They sold user data. But the one thing I was never able to beat is how to filter out those cold outreach messages. And I get a lot of them, especially when I do product launches. So I just mark them as spam every single time hundreds every month and thousands every year. Frustrating. Now that you feel my pain, and trust me, I feel yours, let me show you how I use artificial intelligence to keep my inbox pristinely clean. And it's super simple. In the description of this video, you're going to have a link to a pre-built Bardeen automation. Bardeen is a browser extension that automates your manual workflows. Click on the Try It button, and the first time you run this automation, you'll be asked to download the browser extension. Then let's integrate our inbox with Gmail. Okay, and just like this, the automation was enabled. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. The starting point is my pristinely clean inbox, but I do have quite a few emails that we can test this automation on. For example, here is a newsletter email from Adobe. So what I want to do is I want to forward this email to myself to see how the automation handles it. Let's click on send and it appeared in the inbox for a second and then it disappeared right away. There are no emails. I can click on more and click on all emails and then find that email over here. Here's our email, which was archived automatically. Here's a cool pro tip. You can click on Bardeen and click on show activity to see every time that this automation was triggered. Here we have this automation that was triggered on this creative growth starts here email. There we have it. You can click on view if you want to, or you can go to more, all mail, and there we have this email that was archived. Now let's see if this automation can handle this really frustrating outreach email. Let's forward it to myself again. Quick note here, it might take up to a few minutes for a new email to get processed by Bardeen. So beware, it's not instant. If you're new to this channel, we cover automations that help you reclaim your precious time and learn how to leverage artificial intelligence to work smarter, not harder. And finally, to discover those use cases to become the top 1% knowledge worker. If that resonates, hit that subscribe button. Let me show you what's inside the automation that we've just run. Let's open up Bardeen. And here we have open in the builder. I'm going to show you every single action that is a part of this automation. Here we have when an email is received. So when we have a new email, then this automation gets triggered. Then we're using open AI classification action that will process the body of this email. And then we're going to figure out what type of email is this. And here I provided three different options. It can be a cold outreach email, it can be a newsletter email, or it can be something else. I gave OpenAI a little bit of context about what text it's looking at. So we're classifying an email body and we're using GPT-4 model. Let's click on done. Up next, we have this conditional statement that is going to check if the class that is outputted by OpenAI does not contain other categories. So this means that it has to be either a newsletter or called outreach. Let's click on done. And here we have two branches. So if that condition is true, if it is in fact not other, then we're going to archive the email that was just received. And now let me show you how to build your very own custom AI automation for your inbox entirely from scratch. Learning this will unlock their real superpowers because you'll be able to do things like sending custom notifications, 
in apps like Slack or even automatically categorizing your invoices and adding the information into a spreadsheet and so much more. For this build, I'm going to create an automation that will automatically apply a label to a given email. For example, this can be an invoice, a support email, or an internal company email. Let's go ahead and build it. The first thing that I want to do is create a label that will later apply to a given email. You can do it directly from Gmail, click on the plus icon and create a label. In my case, I already have my labels created. Here I have cold outreach, customer support, invoices, and internal team emails. Now it's time to build the automation. Let me open up our Dean Chrome extension, click on create. And the first action I will add is going to be a trigger from Gmail when an email is received. Let's click on done. Then I want to classify that email using OpenAI. Let me click on new action. Uh, by default, you will not see OpenAI show up over here. So click on this plus icon to integrate OpenAI. Let's click on OpenAI here. And if we scroll down, there we have get classification generated by OpenAI. Here we'll need to provide text that OpenAI will be processing. I have text being outputted from our trigger action. And then here I have a lot of different fields, body, subject line, etc. I'm going to pick the body of this email. And for the second argument, let's create a few classes. Uh, here I have the class name, internal emails, customer support, and let's add invoices. We can also add some description, such as this emails come from people who work at Redeem. These are customer support emails, emails that contain invoices. Then we have some context for classification and the model to use. I'm going to leave context for classification blank because we've provided some class descriptions that were pretty good. And finally, here we get to pick a model. I'm going to use GPT-4 model because it's the most accurate. Click on done. And there we have our two actions. Before going forward and adding a conditional block, I want to test this automation and see how classification works and if it works accurately. I'm going to click on done from over here and call this automation email labeling. Hit save. Enable the automation just like this. Here I found the invoice email from Twitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to forward this email to myself to trigger the automation, click on send, and then open up Bardeen to see how it's going to classify it. Click on show activity. There it is. Let's click on the drop down, and it was classified correctly as an invoice. Okay, let's uh, get back to building our awesome automation. So I'm going to add a new conditional block over here. I'm going to say, hey, check the class. I'll put it by that action. Here we have the name of the class. We're going to check if it contains invoices. And for this last part, if Bardeen is processing multiple emails at the same time, then I want each email to go to the respective branch. So I'm going to pick this variable. By the way, I have a dedicated tutorial on how to use conditionals. You can click on the card over there. Click on done. So if an email has a class invoice, then I want to add a label to that email, new action, find Gmail action. And here we have update email labels. The first argument asks, okay, which email do you want to process? We're going to process the email that comes from the trigger action. And then we're going to add a label. You can add multiple labels, but for our use case, we're going to add label invoices. And just like this, I can click on done, but I do have two more labels in this automation. For example, I have this customer support label and internal emails. So let's use the no branch and I'm going to add another conditional block that's going to have the exact same setup. And let's type customer support this time. Okay, there we have it. I'm going to click on done and add another label using the Gmail action, trigger email, customer support. There we have it. Let me click on done. You can do the exact same thing for your internal emails if you want to. In my case, I don't. I'm going to click on done, enable this automation, and let's test this automation one more time. So this time, I want to forward that original Twitter email uh, back to myself to see if a new label is going to get applied. So I just send it there and then it should appear in the invoices, which is currently empty. Here we have our invoice that was correctly labeled. Now let's find a support email. Okay, it looks like a support email. I'm going to forward it to myself as well. Let's 
hit send. And then for customer support, nothing just yet, but wait a minute. And there we have our email number two. Enjoy your pristinely clean inbox. The links to the automations that you saw in this video are in the description. By the way, we live in the age of AI and there are so many things that you can do with artificial intelligence. If you want to learn more about different AI actions inside Pardeen, make sure to click on this video next to see what you can do.